uh, we, we should have an introduction, we should have a research uh, literary review. Third one is we should have a proper methodology. And through this methodology, we, we should have uh, some findings. And uh, we, should be, we may move to conclusion and after that, we will write. So data one is introduction, data two is uh, literature review, data three is <coughs> methodology, data four is findings, or uh, maybe I just uh, moved in a different way, like just, just an introduction, uh, methodology, fourth one is research findings, fifth one is summing up a conclusion, uh, sixth one, uh, uh, data six is bibliography. So these are the six things that, that we have to do. And the other things we have to, we can see is, uh, in other in other ways, uh, we, the, the things that are needed are uh, we should uh, have uh, the title page, declaration, acknowledgments, uh, table of contents, abstract, uh, and uh, the introduction. After that, we have the introduction. Uh, we have got, uh, as I said, uh, we have got uh, the literature review, introduction, methodology there, and uh, uh, methods and uh, materials and methodology and observations and results and it ends up in uh, uh, same uh, conclusion like uh, discussion ends there and uh, the next one is uh, there are five major elements that uh, uh, not five but seven major elements that you can see in a research always they are uh, the, these things are should be included the abstract should be there Introduction should be there. Literature review. There's there's something more important because that supports that supports our argument or discussion. The next one is methods. Uh, uh, it's followed by results, discussion, and conclusion. And uh, the there is an important thing that we should uh, be very uh, confident of. Like if you if that is uh, precisely defined, the entire thesis will work uh, so easily. What is that? It is the thesis statement. If it is a thesis statement, uh, it should be. It should have the specificity. It should be precise. It should have uh, the stuff of uh, getting uh, good arguments. It should demonstrate the title. The thesis statement should demonstrate what has to follow, and uh, we should be very confident. The thesis statement should be confident. There should, there should not be. Wave, it should not be doubtful. So it should be confident. We should, the writer should be very confident in bringing that uh, thesis statement uh, in, 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 in the, in the, in the uh, before writing a thesis. So what is the thesis statement? It consists of two parts the topic, the, the analysis, uh, explanations, or claims that you are making, a, a writer is making. Thesis is equal to topic plus claim. This is equal to topic plus analysis. This is equal to topic plus opinion. This is equal to topic plus, topic plus stance. And uh, this is, is equal to uh, topic plus uh, uh, topic plus controlling thought. So this is uh, the thing. And how can we identify? How can we? Uh, what are the steps that we have to? Uh, I'm just uh, just emphasizing the slides. I have the same idea. Like two three slides that follow might have the same idea, but there is emphasis. Like for a student of, a, for a researcher in English literature, you have all these things. There are seven steps that outline a simple and effective strategy for finding information for a research paper and documenting the sources you, uh, the researcher finds. Step one is to identify and develop the researcher's topic. The second one, is to find back up background information that comes from uh, our uh, uh, literary uh, literature review. Third one is finding supportive documents, online catalog to find books and uh, finding articles and find internet resources. And after that, we have to uh, have to evaluate the information that we have. We have to evaluate the information we have. And the step seven is to cite. Uh, using a standard format for the bibliograph. And uh, next uh, is so simple that I just uh, skip it. Like uh, it says that uh, um, the chapter session, like maybe chapter session can be, this is an example. 
the chapter one should can have introduction chapter two uh, can uh, uh, introduce the to the title and topic chapter three gives the main discussion chapter four might also be the other part of the main discussion chapter five and comparative comparison may be a comparison between chapter four and five three and four and uh, chapter six is an analysis on writing style and chapter seven is conclusion and i've given a few a few examples of how you can uh, limit your pages or how you can you have to expand uh, your uh, pages accordingly to make the thesis very effective and introduction uh, what are the components of the introduction it gives the importance of the study, states of uh, objectives and hypothesis, and it includes the methodology and limitations. Chapter two uh, reviews the sheer problems and uh, a look at the subject. Uh, uh, chapter three, methodological part. Chapter four, analysis. Chapter three, four can be analysis. Chapter five uh, is kind of like uh, when we are just going into, uh, going into uh, analysis of writing style, Right, uh, style and techniques that, that can be chapter uh, uh, four and chapter five uh, like when it's chapter five chapters we can have it this way and uh, now the the, the main uh, area is gone and we, we shall move when we have to uh, write a thesis there is something that, uh, that there's a catch nowadays you have to publish what Publish. What publication do they need? They need publication in a standard journal. How do they define the standard of the journal? The standard of the journal may be defined in such a way that it should be UGC catalyst, Scopus indexed, and things like that. So, how can we do publication for this in this paper? So, uh, what is research publication? So this is the definition so that I can skip it. We all know what it is all about. And uh, there are certain uh, journals, well-renowned indexed journal, uh, like uh, Researcher ID, Worldcat, Worldcat, University Libraries, JCAT, Sightseer, um, Open Library, Cornell University Library, and the Google. These are all uh, various areas where we can have our own uh, tips. And uh, how to find, publish a research paper in international journal. Complete the research, prepare the manuscript, submit the manuscript, get it reviewed, decision, wait for the decision, accept or reject. Uh, if it is accepted, it's okay. Otherwise, resubmit. And uh, the next, uh, next slide uh, would uh, tell what uh, the research journal is. And, uh, uh, we have got uh, some, I have just given uh, an example of a few uh, journals that are available, standard journals, apart from UGC cover listed journals. And, uh, and then uh, comes, uh, uh, what is a research article? So, as a research paper is a micro level thesis, whatever you apply, for research uh, thesis or dissertation, if we do it in a micro level, it becomes a research article. It, it says that you have to put in that much of effort to write a research article. One of my friends who was with uh, uh, the University of uh, uh, Massachusetts and uh, uh, he was uh, uh, working there and he had six revisions uh, before uh, done by his guide before submitting it for uh, publication. And when I was uh, associate uh, in uh, the University of Nottingham, I too had uh, an opportunity to publish a, a paper over there. And uh, we had an we had an opportunity to move to the University of Oxford, the Cambridge University, and there we see that uh, it's a pride. For it's a pride and it's a, it's a dignified work for a teacher, a researcher working there to publish a publish a research art. Uh, and uh, yeah, there, there they say uh, publish or perish. So 
this is what the entire globe is moving into publish or perish and uh, here i'm very sorry to say publish and perish like uh, uh, we do a lot of publications and before uh, it is getting published people have uh, 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 their ideas disintegrated and uh, they have become disoriented as far as research is concerned so it's a it's a big task for them to get published in good journals where, where we where we can see every day or other we can see there are supporting people if you want to publish in scopus i'll help you if you want to those things uh, actually hinder the basic idea of research in my own words in my own idea so research paper should uh, be have a uh, uh, who should have a an original idea and uh, uh, like in the research paper in english literature can be uh, doing uh, done in such a way that research uh, should have a new substance a new formula and a new invention so literal research means finding something new within the literature so what are the different genres that we can do research in literary genres are historical fiction fairy tale poetry fiction mystery non fiction fantasy biographic fable uh, science fiction adventure and autobiography so from these uh, different genres we can uh, choose our topic and uh, we can work on it and uh, for example if you are uh, doing a research in uh, on a particular point we are presenting an article on a particular point for example we did a research a deconstructive study on the poem road not taken by uh, uh, robert frost uh i i did it with the, uh, my i did as i did it as a co-author with dr vasudevan from uh the like government as college woodmel pet and uh, we had a deconstructive study of the poem and it start the poem starts like the two roads diverged so if there is two roads diverged it should be four roads so this is uh, some kind of ideas we idea we just wanted to uh, uh, we found out and we we had a, a research paper on that and it was well received by uh, critics uh, especially who are specialized who are specialized in deconstruction and uh, to uh, have a research paper you should have uh, close uh, reading uh, idea slows the reading lenses like uh, the text evidence should be there setting character plot should be there we should have a close i uh, uh, view on the text evidences through which we can identify the setting character plot and uh, the structure uh, the story details author style literary elements word choice and sentence structure so these things we can uh, have uh, and uh, The, what are the procedures that are generally followed uh, for publication in the journal and uh, prepare preparing a manus manuscript uh, checking it for plagiarism change the article to the format of the journal like every uh, uh, standard journal has its own format but it generally follows uh, as far as english literature is concerned everyone follows mla style uh, follow like they it was 6 7 and now it's 8 we are moving into nine and uh, we uh, the 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 we have uh, an access to the journal we will be provided with the login id and password and uh, the editors will review our manuscript editors assessment uh, of uh, reviews will be presented the reviews can be after uh, the may uh, the corrections are made it will be submit for resubmitted for correction and once the article is accepted and within a short period the articles will be published so uh, yeah, nowadays we are moving into a domain where we have to publish or perish uh, in india too because the for uh, each and every other thing we have to get the idea of how uh, we have to publish and uh, um, uh, research here has something that uh, introduction part gives you the question why method how we are doing it and results what we are doing and uh, discussion and conclusion so what what is the what is the end point so we have given a conclusion what what is the effect uh, on the further research or things like that so i have given an example there also i will share the 
uh, flies with uh, the people and you can have it. So as far as the introduction is concerned, it should have, it should start from a, a wide area and it, it should move from general to a particular. And that's what uh, we, most of us know. And uh, like uh, uh, application, this is the final part I'm just moving into. Uh, application of theories in literary text. Uh, there are a lot of uh, theories, postmodern techniques. Uh, what are the postmodern techniques? Magic realism and uh, uh, like uh, narrative techniques, political, camouflaging, uh, polylithism, uh, language, hybridity, etc. For example, the magic realism, children born at mid 12 midnight in 25th, uh, 15th August 1947 uh, have uh, special qualities. Mothers and the midnight children's uh, idea. They, there is more magic realism there. And uh, uh, for uh, in uh, Life of Pi, uh, we have got a uh, lot, lot of ideas like magic realism, the floating uh, island, man eating leaves, uh, 32 teeth for uh, leaves, and post oral th themes like migration, settlement, space, diaspora, and uh, diaspora and settlement issues or uh, scenes around. Repeated work. And uh, as far as uh, journals are concerned, these are some things that uh, are something that you have to understand. There are author guidelines uh, where you have to give the details in a particular format. And uh, when we are publishing in a journal, we should be very sure that it uh, the journal. We should be very particular to find out whether the journal has a good a good impact factor or high impact. High impact factor increases the value of your paper. It, 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 uh, create, it improves the citation uh, index of the individual. So uh, in the next uh, few slides, I'm just going to talk about the literary theories and uh, criticism that uh, people would uh, uh, like to apply as far as English uh, literature uh, research is concerned. Uh, Madam, can I know uh, how, how much time do I have uh, still? Can you hear uh -huh. me? Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. You can take another uh, 15 minutes, sir. Boys, thank you. Yes, sir. Like, I'll, I'll rush to I got another uh, 12 slides. I'll uh, rush to. Um, uh, so thank you. Sir. Uh, so what is literary theory? Literary theory is uh, the way which you uh, view the text. It's a lens that we view a text. What are the different lenses we view? Uh, we use. Use a lens of feminism, use a lens of Marxism, use a lens of uh, 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 like eco criticism, we use a lens of uh, post colonialism, use a lens that uh, uh, that filters other uh, ideas and just uh, have a like it's like using a laser beam. We, we look uh, text through uh, the lens which uh, just has uh, structuralism, post modernism, post colonialism, uh, uh, like uh, deconstruction. Uh, like we, now we have, we are talking about humanism, post-humanism. So there are various lenses that we are using to uh, value or to evaluate the text. And uh, um, uh, literary criticism, that this is definition for literary criticism that we all know. And uh, what is not literary criticism? We know what literary criticism is, but what is not literary criticism? When we understand what is not literary criticism, it's easy for us to understand what literary criticism is. Most of the uh, students nowadays think that literary criticism is just a plot summary. Literary criticism is just a biography of an author, or it's something something uh, like simply finding fault with, like just finding an idea. Say this is uh, bad. Negative criticism is uh, literary criticism. It's not like that. Actually, literary criticism is research through a particular lens. For example, if we if we want to if we want to do a research, do do some evaluation, to do some uh, research in uh, God of Small Things, we can wear a lens of uh, feminism. We can replace it with the lens of Marxism. We can use the lens of post-colonialism. We can we can just view it with the lens of uh, um, postmodernism, it depends. It depends. Ecofeminism, 
now people are moving to geocentrism literature evolves so does literary criticism and uh, uh, reading and writing works of literary criticism to make sense of the work uh, uh, form judgments about literature study ideas uh, uh, from different points of view determine the individuals and uh, the next slide i'll just give an idea about various literary movements uh, what is literary criticism here it's literary criticism as a literary theory theory is theoretical criticism is a practical so simply we can just move uh, from uh, this point of view theory literary theory is theoretical literary criticism is practical so literary theory is an idea and the literary criticism is is its application and uh, here we have got uh, a timeline of literary theories uh, for your idea and uh, uh, timeline uh, of uh, their like uh, starting from moral criticism to uh, queer studies and now it, uh, it has been moving into as, as i told it's it's moving into geocentrism ecofeminism posthumanism and things like that and uh, now we, we have, what are the various literary schools uh, we have right now liberal humanist neo historicist marxist feminist lesbian gay freudian uh, psychoanalytic criticism cultural materialistic uh, criticism postmodernist post colonialist and things like that and uh, uh, there are different uh, schools of literary criticism one is text based the other one is author based the third one is context based and the fourth one is data based text based uh, it talks about the philology, uh, rhetoric, formalism and structuralism, neocriticism, semiotics and deconstruction come into the school of uh, text-based uh, criticism. Author-based comes into biographic criticism, psychoanalytical criticism, and numerology, phenomenology, uh, phenomenology criticism. And we have got uh, the context-based uh, criticism starting from literary history, Marxist uh, literary theory, feminist literary theory, neo historicism and the cultural studies, and reader response theory, uh, reception theory, and uh, reception history come under the, the reader uh, uh, point of view, reader perspective, uh, literary criticism. And uh, what are the different uh, definitions given for psychoanalysis? And this is how the contemporary research moves into uh, psychoanalysis, feminism, reader response uh, approach, uh, structuralism, deconstruction, post colonialism, post modernism, eco criticism, and eco feminism. So, the next slide discusses about what is uh, modernism and post modernism, how it is uh, different, and uh, it moves in, in the way. What is the difference between colonialism and post colonial literature? And uh, how the literary theories, uh, uh, basics of the literary, literary theory, theory ideologies, and uh, uh, we, we can easily conclude in such a way that whatever we read is inside the text. Nothing is outside the text, as the literary giant Jack Derrida told. Jack, Jack Derrida made a declarative statement that there is nothing outside the text. If you, are, if you are doing a research in uh, literature, there is nothing outside the text. We, we have to use different lenses to have different perspectives of what we see around uh, that is happening, that has been uh, depicted, that has been uh, portrayed by the author in a particular text. And what we can read between, what we can read, think out of the text. But whatever we, 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 we may dwell deep into the text, we may jump deep into the sentences, we may jump, uh, we may just uh, uh, swim into the contextual meaning, we may have a, a tight uh, thinking, thinking about uh, what the text says we may be creative in our great uh, criticism whatever it is it is inside the text 
So research is something that is within the text. That what we say, it uh, it is within the text. It comes. It doesn't come from outside. What we take from outside is a supportive ideas that uh, would strengthen our argument. So that's why we say defending a thesis. At the end of the day, when a doctoral degree is being awarded and Viva uh, uh, is being conducted, we defend our thesis. We defend our statement. We defend our hypothesis. We defend our conclusion. We defend our uh, result. We defend our uh, uh, what I say. Uh, we defend whatever we have told. We defend our conclusion. We defend uh, our uh, work, and we discuss everything in a plain uh, uh, and outspoken way. There's nothing to hide because whatever we see is inside the text, inside the book. So with these words, I think I can uh, close my session right now. And uh, the other uh, presenter is waiting. If you have any questions, you can ask. Thank you very much for your patient listening. Thank you. Any questions, ma'am? Oh. Uh, sir, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, your session is a wonderful one, sir. Thank but, you very much. Uh, my question is, in the slide you have shown something about uh, while well, publishing peer-reviewed. Yeah. I have seen peer-reviewed, blindfolded, and so many jargon words. Can you explain what it is? Actually, a journal standard is uh, defined uh, on how it has been published. For example, peer reviewed means uh, the peer means like uh, a, a person, a researcher reviewing the research work. Peer means on par. That doesn't mean that everyone can be a reviewer. That has, that puts forth the standard of the reviewer. For example, if a journal has a reviewer, uh, it uh, it means that they send the paper for review, and the reviewer sits down and analyzes the paper and uh, finds out whether the paper is fit for publication. And the reviewer also gives suggestions for improvement uh, uh, during uh, uh, the report. The, re the review were sent and if the if all the uh, corrections are made and it, it will be sent for the second review and uh, if the reviewer thinks that it is okay it will be published it shows that not all uh, articles can be published so easily it should have the standards now we can see uh, there is a <coughs> the plagiarism checker is going on everywhere like five years back nobody was bothered about plagiarism and now we are in a closed net. The reason why uh, I uh, I talk about the standard of the journals because even UGC catalyst journals are uh, having different uh, uh, qualities. There was a journal which uh, one of my students wanted to publish and it was a print journal. And uh, I just had a doubt and checked uh, whether it is in the list and it was in the list. And uh, the publication was made very quickly. And uh, to my surprise, uh, it was uh, the, it was not a print journal, it was an online journal. To my surprise, the journal's name was removed uh, quite, uh, quite say, uh, within a few months. When I checked the reason behind that, I could not find the reason. But uh, when I went through the particular issue, I found that it had more than 1,000 articles published in a single issue. It is impossible. That shows that the journal did not care about 
<coughs> the quality of the research it was uh, uh, it was using the, the 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 reputation of the journal for the minting money so those journals are, uh, fall under the scandal so that is why uh, the research uh, uh, journals uh, should be of high quality if like for example uh, uh, we uh, we see we find ratings if we, if we buy if we go to a new place we see the rating of the customer we read we read uh, for we, we, ho we go stay in a hotel where we go stay in a hotel we eat in a restaurant we find out what is the customer rating we buy something online we we just check it with the customer rating if the quality is good if the customer satisfaction is good we'll buy it so likewise it's a recommendation it uh, like uh, given by ugc or uh, this it's the uh, recommendation given by the list that i uh, shown you some time back uh, those, those for example that's why we say scope plus index they give recommendations that these journals are quality journals if you publish in that it will be okay but i am uh, an editor in uh, three journals out of which uh, uh, one is uh, not a scopus index journal or a ugc catalyst journal but it is a pure reviewed journal like uh, they will not accept whatever uh, uh, is being sent for publication they have their own uh, uh, quality standards they, it, in, in, to put it short i just say peer reviewed journal uh, talks about the standard of the journal and even if it has been violated the, the journal uh, loses its credibility and that's why it, has, it will be removed from the ugc campus is it okay ma'am it's okay sir and i have seen blindfolded what it is sir blindfolded means like uh, if i send a, if you are a reviewer i send an article for a, for a journal for example i am uh, uh, i am a rep, i am an associate editor in two journals uh, ruminations and uh, uh, glimpses so i i now i send in my article for, as not as a review not as an editor as a as a researcher i send an article there they will send the article to you with my name and identity uh, uh, like uh, that will be concealed so blindfolded the author would not the reviewer would not know the where the paper is from where the article is from who is uh, being reviewed and what is the quality what is the, the country what is the uh, uh, dominion of the particular person so the thing is like we will have some prejudice we'll have some favoritism we'll have uh, some kind of uh, supportism like you it will not be there it will be a paper a paper a research article sent for uh, review is a research article as such it doesn't have bear the name or the uh, the name of the country individual's name or the domain the particular person belong to that is what we call as blindfolded Review. Okay, thank you, sir. And you said peer-reviewed journal, sir. Yes. Uh, if I if I am publishing your uh, my article in a peer-reviewed one, is it valuable for my career in future? Yeah, nowadays actually peer-reviewed journal uh, article is valuable, but uh, uh, in most universities they prefer UGC catalyst journals and uh, Scopus index journals. Uh, actually, I I do as I told you I do work in a journal where uh, like I do I am not working I just uh, associate I am just uh, associate with the journal which is not a peer review is which is not a catalyst journal but it is of high standard. If you want to get uh, the journal uh, to be included in the UGC catalyst, they have got uh, certain rules and regulations, and you have to apply for that. You have to uh, abide by the rules and regulations. You have to wait for it. Only then it will be uh, taken it uh, taken for uh, consideration. But even if it is a peer-reviewed journal, it's okay. If it has got a citation, like uh, uh, citation means that the, if, I, if you you write an article, I would I cite it in my in my dissertation or thesis or my own article as a supportive document. Then it shows that the, it improves your citation, citation index, and it uh, improves your H index. There are a lot, lot of things that uh, 
uh, uh, gives uh, uh, statements about the quality of the art. So in that case, it's okay. But uh, for uh, career advancement or something like that, a few universities are bent upon uh, saying that the article should be published uh, in uh, uh, UGC Catalysted or uh, Scopus Index. And uh, I, 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 don't, I don't have a particular affinity or supportive uh, statement for that because even cannot say Einstein or Einstein's articles uh, should be peer reviewed. It's like somebody would say that an article, if uh, somebody is agreed, is agreeing or somebody is not agreeing, doesn't matter. It, what is the idea it proposes? Is it theory? It's something, the, some theory it is proposing. It's okay. As far as it's original, as far as the writing is good, it's okay. But there are certain standards that, uh, that are being uh, followed in India, in most of the universities that say that we have to have our publications in such kind of uh, journals. I am not a person who support that argument, but I am very, very particular that the article should be as a published in standard journals only. Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for the explanation. Thank you very much. Thank you for your question. Any more questions, ma'am? Sir, good evening, sir. This is Dr. Kausalya Kumari from Etheras College. Good evening, madam. Um, good evening, sir. Sir, is there any difference between uh, dissertation and thesis, sir? Actually, in India, what we say is if some, something is uh, done uh, as a, uh, well, for example, Emphil uh, work we do, we say it's a dissertation. And when we did go into the, like a PhD, we call it as a thesis. But uh, we, it all depends on the number of pages uh, we use it. For example, we have a definition that a dissertation should be ample. Uh, we don't call it as a project. So ample dissertation should be around 100, uh, 80, 90 pages. PhD should be around 300 pages. These are definitions we, our people have uh, imposed on ourselves. But uh, there is no def uh, uh, difference in uh, 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 foreign countries. People use dissertation for thesis also. It, it, it does not depend on the number of pages uh, that uh, actually uh, is needed. It is uh, more than that, it is the quality of the work that is needed. Thank you, sir. Sir, one more question. Yes, uh, sir, we are using log rate now, sir. Log rate in a footnote. Yes, ma'am. What is that, sir? Can, could you please explain that? I can get you, ma'am. What is that? Log set, offset we are using now, sir, in the footnote. Oh, is blurring, madam. I cannot hear. Yes, can you... oh, sir? Yes, madam. Log set, log set, sir. We are using log set in uh, footnote, now, sir. Footnote. Now. Yes, yes, madam. Yes, madam. Uh, could you please explain what is that? Uh, uh, actually, uh, it's like... Uh, um, I should, uh, I, I don't know how I can put it. Uh, it is uh, something that uh, uh, brings out uh, 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 mm, it, uh, a lock seat is something that is uh, used in a footnote. And uh, actually, we do not use it, use footnotes right now. It is a bygone era. And uh, we use only the thing which is called work fighter. And uh, lock seat uh, is something that is. Uh, uh, you can say, for example, uh, it uh, it talks about the uh, um, I'm just finding out uh, difficult to answer the question right now. It uh, views out. Uh, it, it talks about uh, the, the 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 particular uh, genre of a, of a work. That's in in other words, I can say it talks about the genre of the. Book. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Any more queries from the participant side?
thank you very much sir thank you very much for your useful presentation and thank you very much for your presence with us yeah thank you ma'am i think i have not answered kaushalya uh, kumari's madam's answer uh, question uh, uh, very clearly i am not satisfied with my own answer uh, i'll just uh, get back to you i'll just uh, get back to her uh, because uh, i cannot uh, put it in the right words right i'm very sorry uh, okay Kumari, okay no problem sir i will contact you through email thank you sir and uh, given my email that is yes sir i'll definitely i'll contact you thank you sir thank you so much uh, thank you everyone for your time uh, for being here for my presentation i hope uh, i have uh, not uh, uh, disappointed you uh, at least a bit i'm happy to be part of this uh, program today i thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity actually it's a pleasure for me to be part of this lavender literary club uh, and i hope uh, my travel would continue and uh, i have given my email address uh, in uh, the uh, like uh, to to the uh, authorizers if you have any queries kindly send it i'll just uh, try to clarify it thank you very much